Oh. Who are you talking to, Oliver? Whoever I can talk to. I'm not drunk, man. I've okay. been sober since that stuff started. Yeah. What you want? What you want? What you gonna do? When Sheriff John Brown come for you? On this evening, um, a known person to us had called the sheriff's office multiple times in the, in the shift. Um, from about six o'clock in the evening, the time that we got on scene it was three times. And I got that feeling on the back of my hairs on my, on my neck stood up and said, you may want to look over your shoulders. So I observed a shadow figure running toward our direction. And it wasn't until he entered the street lights that I could see the, the knife in his hand. Put, put down, put down, put it down. Put it down, put down the other hand too. Put it down, lay down on the ground. Away from the knife, get away from the knife. Get away from the knife. I started to feel threatened the closer he got, but he wasn't at that point where I felt the need to um, to draw my firearm. Uh, I did have my hand on it, it was ready to go. The, uh, the hood was down in the holster. Um, had he come in another step or two closer, it definitely would have been drawn by then. Put your arms out to your side. Yes. This bad subject came up with a knife, he's down. Stay where you are, put your face down, look away from me, look away, look away, look away, look the other way, the other way, Oliver. Put your hands behind your back. He's telling me that, that you know, the same thing he told the other, uh, from the other calls is that there are people in his house, specifically black males, staying in his house, um, and he wanted them gone. And then the last part of the call, he's chasing them out or hovering around them with knives and everything. And they were slashing his tires. And of course, as we get there, come to find out there are no black males. I had my English friends come over. Uh huh. And then I guess a couple of their girlfriends invited some of their girlfriends. Word spread, there was a house to stay at. Okay. I've been coming home every day. You need to go, you need to go, you need to go. And I'm called twice, and every time your officers come, there's no one there. Okay, now Oliver, I'm gonna ask you this question. How much have you, how much have you drink tonight? Probably seven. At one point before his phone died, uh, you see me and him looking at his phone, and he's showing me a picture of his couch, and only his couch, but he's swearing up and down there's a black male sitting on the couch, and there was no black male on that couch. He says he's got pictures and videos of the people this today. Is. Yeah, there's one black person, Where? you see? Oh, right there on the white yellow couch, man. There was nobody there. There was. There's not. I knew that more than likely whatever he had taken or consumed on that day was probably leading to his, uh, his hallucinations. You're seeing things, Oliver. And, and the picture that I was able to see that you showed me, and you showed me somebody sitting in the chair in a photo, there was nobody there. It's the third time we've been out here now, Oliver. I'm not drunk, we, man. I haven't done pills. I'm tired. Yeah. I haven't slept. You were messed get... up in your reek of alcohol. I didn't feel his approach to me with a, with a knife as a criminal act. I didn't feel that he wanted to harm me. Um, I didn't feel there was intent to commit a crime. Um, in order to arrest someone for a crime, you got to be able to prove intent. Every time that you go to rehab, you get out and don't care. OK, you may not care about yourself, but right now and today, I care about you. You almost got shot. You're running down the direction with a knife. I did now. OK? No, don't say that. Why not? And this is like getting shot. And I hope maybe this time he takes the, uh, the hint from the doctors and, and lays off the booze and the medication and he gets better. Get on the ground, run! Get on the ground. Is there anything illegal in this car? No, sir. Is there any weed in this car? No, sir. Where'd she hit you at? Like Man. my nose. Like in your nose? Yeah, my nose and like right here. At 2343, give me 94, step it up. Hey. Did they Have you ever talked to her? First no. time I had anything to do with her. That's it's none of their business. I understand. Not so concerned. They don't give a <laughs> They're just full of it. They just want to come over here and nosy. That big right. fat hick. You want to go back to the Appalachians, where they come from.